Hello guys, today I am going to do a tutorial on how to properly operate a bus in Bus and Cable Car Simulator 2011. As you can see, I am in one of the bus depots in the city. These are the only places where you can start routes to drive. They are marked on the map with yellow squares with a bus icon and there are three of them in the city. To start a route, you want to go into this little office. And left click this guy, which will bring up a list of routes available. I am going to do this route for this tutorial as it starts off not too far from the bus depot. Upon leaving the office, you should see your bus standing somewhere nearby. Walk over to the front door of the bus and press F5 repeatedly. Each press of F5 opens the door a slight crack. Keep doing it until the door is open enough for you to enter. Press C to sit down in the driver's seat. Then press T to turn on the bus's onboard power system. Now, press E to start the engine. Press page up to put the transmission into the drive position. The air pressure should start building up now, and you can see how much has built up on the display screen, which you can take a better look at by pressing right alt. You can press D to toggle what information the display screen shows, in this case, keep it showing the air pressure. While we are waiting for the pressure to build up, let's set the destination sign using the onboard computer which can be used by pressing I. Press Q to show the number of your line en route. My line is line 47, so let's enter it into the computer by clicking the line button on it. For two digit line numbers, you must enter a zero before entering the line number or else it won't work. So I will enter 047. and click the enter button on the computer, same thing with the root. I will click the root button and enter 01. Now the destination sign is ready. When the pressure builds up to 7 bars, the door should automatically close or open, depending on how many times you press the F5 key to nudge it open. You can turn the wipers on or off with a V key and the ventilation with this button. That thing up there is the stop requested sign, which lights up when passengers want to get off so you can open the back door for them. You open and close the front door with F5, and open and close the back door with F6. To get the bus moving, release the parking brake by pressing tap. Now drive to the first bus stop, which is indicated on the map by a yellow circle and red dot. Open the front door to let in the passengers. Some will just go take a seat, while others will ask for a ticket. Good morning. Sorry, I only have cash. Now we get to the fare box. Press F to activate it. You charge adults two dollars, you charge youth and seniors a dollar twenty-five, and you charge disabled and Medicare people just one dollar. This person is a youth, so I will charge him a dollar twenty-five.
Press the bottom right button to distribute the ticket and charge the passenger. Single trip, please. This person is also youth, so I will charge her a dollar twenty-five as well. Single, please. This person is an adult, so I will charge her two dollars. A ticket. This person is a senior, so I will charge him a dollar twenty-five. When all the people at the bus stop had boarded, close the door and continue on the journey, following the line on the map and stopping at all the bus stops, marked with a big yellow H. The speed limit on the city streets is 30 miles per hour and you never want to go over that or else you might get caught by a radar trap which will cost you a lot of money. That sound, that means a passenger wants to get off, so open the back door along with the front one upon arrival at the bus stop. Good morning. And that is basically all there is to it. From here on, just drive the bus like normal. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you did, please subscribe, and thanks for watching, see you later.